Um, what do you want kids at home who's watching this to, to, to that look up to you, that see you on Instagram, that see the five, almost 500,000 followers, that see the work that you're doing in this community? What do you want them to take away from your story? The biggest thing I want them to take away from my story and yesterday was just to be an example for what you can do by staying down and following your dreams. A no moss no in LA thing. Nah. Yes, hell yeah. No way. When a guy's hollering in LA, they're always like, what's up, ma? It's an LA thing. No, that's some New York shit. I'm, right. Yo, LA, they probably say mother in LA. <laughs> <laughs> hey, mother. Katie don't know, but I might have surprised her with a puppy for Christmas. Hey, what's up? Oh, boy, what you put out to? Not much. What dog, you in your son? Yeah. I get it. Bro, she better be lit. She, she outside, yeah. You gotta come out there with a surprise. Oh, my God. Wait, is this ours? Jasmine. No! Vic, I'm gonna cry. Are you serious? Merry Christmas. No! Oh, my God! Don't hold it. Hurry up. Come on. Gosh. It's a sign that got busted out from the wind. Right there, Dibs Hair Studio. And that's where it all started. What's up, man? How you doing, Junior? Awesome. Yeah. 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 There you go. That's too hard. That's perfect. Yep. Hell yeah. Yeah, perfect. and like I said, man, we put, we went definitely to the nice softer shirt. That's perfect. Yeah, I mean, for all the staff and everybody out there helping. Yeah, if I ain't gonna wear it, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put it out there. players and the rap artists and stuff but like don't give it back to the community that's what it's all about that's what we're trying to do yeah, that's why i said from day one bro god give me the opportunity i'm gonna get to the people need the most so keep doing all right back on my first job first job i ever had started at 15 i was washing dishes under the table my boy biddle my little brother's best friend now he got a job here first job right here worked here for three and a half years Mm. Three and a half years, first job. All right, this is Barry Boulevard. When I first moved to the Ville, I was skateboarding heavy at the time. There was only one skate shop in the Ville, and it was the Ville Skate Shop, and it was right here on Barry Boulevard. So for the first three years in middle school, me being here, my dad, they used to drop me off at the Ville, and I used to spend a whole day here. But the Ville ain't there no more. They moved locations, but it was right here in this corner. Where's it? Brad Business Center right there now, but... That's the uh, skate shop where it used to be at. This the homeless shelter that we used to come to. Once a month, I used to come on a Sunday once a month. I think they did every Sunday, but one Sunday out of the month, I would come here and I would give free cuts to all the homeless people that would pull up. They would do free clothes. Um, they would do supplies. They would do anything they needed, food, everything, every Sunday. I would like everything one Sunday out of the month. But I would come down here and make sure we cut and get back to the homeless. That was super important. That was really, I remember the time that that happened. I was in barber school and I felt like nothing was moving for me. I felt like I wasn't growing. I felt like, you know, God is not getting me to my next step right now. And I remember my barber instructor asked me, he, you know, he said, you know, what was the last thing God asked you to do? And when he said that, I was like, damn, what is the last thing God asked me to do? So that same day I left from school after he told me that, I was in the, the, the I was in the to go line of Bojangles and a homeless dude came and he stood in front of me. His name was Gary. I cut Gary, you know, because he was in my way and I was looking at him. I was like, I could have been, I could have rolled right past him, but you know, my instructor today told me what's the last thing God asked me to do. I sat in that Bojangles line, Gary got in front of me asking for for money. 
And the only thing I had to offer him was the clippers, you know, was the haircut. And I just left barber school. I said, yo, Gary, like, I ain't got no money, but you know, we get you some food and I let me get you a haircut. So I gave Gary a haircut right there in that Bojangles parking lot. He said, one day you can have it all. Next day you can wake up and all you got is feathers left. You know, so that right there always taught me to be grateful for what I have today and to never take it for granted because I could wake up the next day and have feathers. This is my barber school, FTCC barber school. Right here, this barber in one. This is where the first room you're going to be in as soon as you start school. See, they got the little pole out front. You go in right here, and then you go in left, and then that would be the school. Yeah, maybe some, maybe a little bit like, like really like man, what I got. Just barely noticeable. Like yeah, line. but it, it you could tell outline yeah, yeah, yeah. without it being like that's a ring. Yeah, I remember Vic when he came in for his first tattoo, man. The uh, young 18 year old kid ready to get his first tattoo. As soon as I turn 18. Oh, yeah. He um, went to Barber Life with his machine, his clippers, with the heart inside of it. It was on from there. It was great watching him grow, watching him give back. And, you know, it's me and him have had, you know, one on one talks before. And we've always wanted to give back. and. He's doing he's doing big things, you know. It's good seeing that for the community, seeing what's going on in this town, and you know having him make an impact like that. It's it really does make a difference to people. I could have gone to any other. I could have grew up in any other barbershop. I could have been on any other side of town. I could have been sharp line, sharp fade, fade man. I could have been right. in any other shop, but God put me in y'all shop, and y'all were the ones that told me like, "Yo, you learn how to cut hair, you make money for the rest of your life." There you go. And ever since then, I, was, I just started a spark, and I was like, "Man, let me see how much money I can make." And then from the money, you got to put me on to community. community. A barber, really truthfully, is to be more than a barber is like you really have to do more. Like you are community leader, community activist. People need you, they need you in so many different types of ways and it's like you got more, so much resource, you meet so much people. It's all about communication and connections, man. This business here is so beautiful. Like, you really, the haircut, like I said, is the only small part of it that just only allows you to have that. There's more conversation than this haircut. Yeah, that's what I've been saying now. I look, that's how I look at it, it's, it's my tool. It's what God gave me to, to do a message bigger than Marvin, and yeah. bigger than a fade. But he gave me such a great gift and such a good mind and an ability to speak to go build these relationships and come bring it back and, and, and make a change, so. And that's it. And, and, and the thing is, though, Vic, the, the good part about what you got going on is that you were, you were there from the beginning. So you get a chance to see, you saw what it took to really get a connection with the community and not just jump on the bandwagon, you know what I'm saying? You, you was like, yo, cute shots, this is what I want to do, so this is what I'm doing right here. This under the this under the first time. This kind of makes me speak just a little bit, do you too? Like, I ain't never done nothing like this before, bro. They put a limit on the transaction, so Grant going right now to the Bank of America to tell them to release that so we can finish the payment. So we got two of them done. 
Got two more to do, but it's not like this always gonna happen. It ain't always gonna be smooth, so. Got all the boxes ready, got all the toys ready. And we're gonna get it done, though. gonna put the U-Haul right there whenever we start. You ain't gotta do it right now, but you're gonna have it right there. And so all that grass right there, kind of put a line of the tables. Uh, you see what, look up, put the camera, I can't see, bro. So you just want me to put the U-Haul right here right now? Yeah, you can put it right there, put it right there, and then they go on, we're gonna uh, empty the bitch. Later, love you. <laughs> Thirty-seven of those, thirty-eight of those for three hundred. Eighteen, nineteen, nineteen packs. I'm feeling good. All this bread, That's a lot of bread. All this bread, all this dough. You feel me? Got a little work. You got meat. Come on, baby. Get up. See you soon. All right. So, for y'all to be here, it's the first time I've ever been able to do something for the whole time, which really means a lot. Y'all know me, y'all know how passionate I am. So, uh, y'all know the deal. It's, a, it's the first annual Christmas give back. The priority is the kids, making sure they get everything they need today. So, haircuts, we got the barber straight. All the barber straight, we had a meeting. Make sure right now, till 2 p.m., every kid that gets a haircut can get a toy and a piece of clothing. Until 2 p.m., only cut, only, only kids that get cuts. Anybody from 2 p.m. plus, anybody can get a toy. But we just want to guarantee now anybody that comes in the cut can leave with something in their hands as well. So let's just make sure we help with each other. This is all a one team effort. We're on the same team here. Uh, I, I, I don't, I'm, I'm almost at a loss of words. I don't even know if it feels real to me yet, but man, I, I've been dreaming about days like this forever. 
Sean and Q gave me my first ever opportunity to get back to my hometown, my first four months to cut hair. I swear I felt like I was at the Super Bowl getting back to them kids. So that's what it felt like to me. I hope y'all got the same energy today. And there's nothing better than, than giving back. You know, it's better to give than it is to receive. So, you know, we here today on the God's name. We all here together as one family. Let's let's knock it out. Let's execute. Let's make sure everybody's straight. Bill on three. One, two, three. Oh yeah, yeah, this is a beautiful thing here that my brother right here doing, man. Y'all come out and support him anytime he's doing something. It's a positive event right here. Hey, Malik used to buy all my bottles before I turned 21. Oh man, don't be telling this. Hey, Malik used to get all my bottles, bro. <laughs> look, 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 it's all love though, man. Keep doing what you're doing, man. This is what we yeah, do. Love, bro. All day. Getting ready to start barber school mm. uh, at 17 years old. I met him. He was a young kid trying to find his way out here. Um, Vic, I saw his motivation. I knew he would go far in, the, in this business, but not this far. Like this is amazing. How was uh, Vic like growing up? Uh, he was stubborn. He was stubborn like his mom. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you know, works hard, so he gets after it and makes it happen. Alright, so we're in the middle of the get back right now. Amazing turnout. I, I still can't believe the shit went down. So I got my two best friends back that have been working the grill and helping me out with a whole entire get back. That's the first person I ever cut and the third person I ever cut. They've been my best friends since middle school. Never had any other people around me like I had then. So I got some planned for them later. So, you know, they both into music and they both love to do music and, and rap and sing. So I, I bought them their dream setup. I went ahead and got full studio setup for them, new mics, new audio interfaces, new chords, speakers, and everything. They don't know yet, but you know, I'm gonna tell them like, hey man, I appreciate y'all coming. I really got much to give y'all. You know, they gonna do it for love. We family, but I'm gonna take you. I gotta take care of them. They took care of me since day one, so now it's my turn to be in position to, to bless people that bless me coming up, and I'm gonna get them later. All right, nah, that's clean. Yeah, I ain't look like that for, for a couple months in. Yeah, since, since I won't feel like that for like a year and a half. Hell yeah, bro. Like, since I started watching your videos and shit, bro, straight gems, bro. I swear, bro. bro. I got them for you, like, know that. Bro, hell yeah, bro. I Let's get this photo, yeah. yeah. I'm so proud of you, bro. I appreciate you, bro. I'm proud of you, bro. I'm in the academy, too. I just wanted to get a flick with you. Let's do it. Bro, let's do it. Whatever you need. Master the craft. 
Don't ever get into the robot stage where you cut in hell and you're not thinking about what you're doing. Because if you cut cutting and you're not thinking, first stroke, you're not learning shit while you're doing it. And then it becomes that, oh, this is just a job. If it's, if it's not a job to you, you, you love it. And make sure every time you're cutting, you're a conscious learner as you're cutting. Take that first year to grind in the shop. Bro. I'm telling you, like, I'm telling you, as hard as you can go. Yeah. Go hard, make your bread. You should make six figures this year without, yeah. a, without a question. Man, hey, I, I, I was glad I honored that you like for us to do a project with you guys, man. Y'all gonna have bigger, up, better things coming your way. And it might come, bro. It's the first of many. It, it, first it, of many. People see what y'all are doing, man. And I like the fact it was a group of young men. It wasn't no, no old person that tell y'all what to do with shit. Y'all took heat in every type of way. So we toasting up, man, to a great day. Alright y'all, shit. To God's works. To God's works. To God's works. Amen. Amen. Yay. Amen. Yay. Yeah. It's been a great day, a great blessing great to everybody. Man. Go bitch. <laughs> Big blends. Barber Kings. Yo, what in the Fanville versus everybody. From Sun Semper from Day oh, One to J1. Hassani J. Hard, that's that's Ooh, a, that's and privilege. This is my jacket, that's Big just wearing it. Just want y'all to know. That's a that's privilege, right? <laughs> well, I like it, I like it. I'm just saying, damn. Yeah, that's, 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 yeah, that's, that's for grown folks. Yeah, that's for grown folks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at him. That's what I'm saying, man. That's what I'm saying. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> that shit was crazy. I can't believe people actually came. Yeah, hey, y'all boys come with me, man. Come on, man. Oh, y'all boys come with me, man. Did you get me a puppy, too? Mm-hmm. You got me a puppy, I'm gonna cry, though. Just a kid. Come on, B. Bring y'all my best friends. About the first three, first and the first three people I ever cut. Gotta help me down from the beginning. I don't even gotta say nothing. I love, I love y'all. Y'all know that. Y'all invested in me. I'm invested in y'all. I got presents for both of y'all. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, pick, for real? Y'all pick, pick one. Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> you just pick one? No, no, no. no, no, no. no. They're different colors. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what the? Wow. Oh, these are some good speakers. Yeah. Hey. Yo, wow. God, thank you, man. Oh, wow. Shit, dude. You know what? I don't feel so bad living with my mom now. Anymore. <laughs> oh, wow, bro. She's gonna put you on the dish, son. Come on, bro. Let put you on that. Yeah, man. Yeah, how'd you? That's yeah. That's high tech right there, baby. This is dope, bro. This is dope. It's time to work, boy. Yo, <laughs> yo, yo, dude. Uh, uh, appreciate it. I couldn't be a barber if I ain't hanging out, man. Uh, I'm not even trying to be funny. Like, I've seen some people do some pretty nice things for people this year, but this is by far like I don't think there's anybody who needed something as much as you needed a studio. The smiles on the kids' faces, I'm sure, it was what did it mean? Invent everything because success to a lot of people is money, is fame, but to me success has always been being a pillar in my community and being able to be an inspiration not only to the younger generations but to anybody out there that's chasing the dream. So to be out there yesterday, that's all I wanted to be.